Hi beauties, welcome back to my channel. If you guys are new, my name is Monet. Today I'm back with another get ready with me, you guys. I'm also gonna be styling this gorgeous hair. This is one of those pre-everything type units, which I received from You Nice Hair. And I'm also gonna give you a quick scent of the day, which is a combo that I have been rocking. But be sure to like, comment, and subscribe, you guys. And if you guys are interested in seeing this complete look, then please continue to watch. So I wanted to do a quick unboxing and just kind of share just a little bit of what you would get in your package. They sent over some goodies that I can lay my wig as well some cute press-ons um, as far as the unit this is exactly how I pulled it out the box I love how first of all do y'all see that lace like the knots are a little bit dark on the edges but you can see that they did pre-bleach these knots let's go ahead and get into the application of this unit today so you guys, I went on ahead and pulled off the tape on each ear tab and just secured that. Now I decided to actually go in and re-bleach the knots just on the edges of the hair just because I felt like they were a little bit dark for my liking. You don't necessarily have to do this step at all. Um, and then I, once I got the ear tabs done, it does come with a little bit of extra tape. If you choose to use, you know, the tape across the hairline, you can do so. I'm then going to take my wax stick. I will have all the hair products and links down below. Definitely check that description box. All right, you guys. So next, we're just going to take a little bit of powder. I like to put them right on the edges. Um, I feel like I want to do like a smoky eye as I said before so I went ahead and put my cover cream underneath my eyes I will link it down below it is from Diamond Blend and I'm just going to use my concealing products that I would normally use my skin feels a little bit dry today so I think I'm gonna go in with the NARS foundation and so you guys, I'm gonna be in and out of this tutorial. We doing all of, which is we just got a lot going on, girl. So um, today, I, this day, I was not actually feeling well, so I'm gonna be in and out as far as like my voiceover. Anyways, I'm applying my NARS products. You guys know that if you're new to my channel, hey girl, hey, first of all. But um, I like to apply my products first. Today, I'm actually going in with the two Juvia's Place blushes. I decided I wanted to mix um, two of the blushes, you guys. I will link them down below. But I did go in and we're going to warm up that face um, with that bronzer, which I like to use a cream bronzer. But if you are beginning, I do recommend starting off with a powder first, unless you just feel comfortable using the cream. Now, like I'm not, I'm never going to say, you know, one thing is right, one thing is wrong. But, you know, it really is just what works for you. So I'm just going to go ahead and blend out all my products.
So I'm just gonna lightly do my brows and I'm using um, my MCD Luxury Co. Pencil. This one is in the shade Chocolate, you guys. Um, if you're new to my channel and you don't know, I like to like shade light in my brows. And for that, I usually bleach my brows first and then I apply like a brow gel and then I like to apply a lighter pencil. Um, my typical shade, if I did not lighten my brows, honestly would probably be me mixing dark brown and chocolate, but I did go as dark as ebony as well. Um, but definitely check it out. Um, I do have like a few brow pencils to choose from. So after that, I just went ahead and did most of my brow um, process off camera just to save time. And I also ended up adding another um, layer of concealer. I typically will add anywhere from two to three, but lately I've just been staying with two because that has been enough coverage for me. I then went in and added just a little bit of bronzer because I want to warm my skin up. I definitely recommend adding a bronzer to your face. It just, y'all just adds that perfect warmth. It really does and it looks so good in pictures. Next, I'm gonna go in with my Beauty Blender. Now this is damp and I love to take this and just kind of pat it all over the face just to make sure all the product is nicely blended. Uh, once I get that done, then I'm going to go in with my face powder just to set everywhere that I added my product, which I am using my Lord Mercy A, you guys. I found me another one and I'm using the, um, what is it, the regular one. They have another one, which is Honey, which is one of my favorites, but either one, honestly, is really, really good. And also I'm going to mix the um, Huda Beauty Powder um, just because I'm not using that honey. I feel like that is going to replace it and it's going to add even more color to the face, which I really, really like. As you guys, so we're going to get into the eyes and I'm just adding my base. Um, I'm using a P. Louise base and I typically mix two and I'm using, I want to say shade number two and number six. I need to actually go get some more. Um, I used to order directly from the company, but then I started ordering from Morphe and I'm not really sure what happened with Morphe. I don't know if they took it off the site because I know Morphe kind of redid some of their products as well. This is the M456. It looks like this. It's a more of a flat, fluffy brush. I love this for like packing on color. And y'all, y'all gonna get sick and tired of me. If y'all have not already, y'all know I love my neutral looks. So I'm going in with the Chocolates Coffee Palette. Y'all, the ink is actually coming off of this on top. Y'all know I use this palette all the time. I'm going for more of a spotlight type look. So I'm just gonna pack the color on. I don't wanna go too dark. Like I'm patting on that color, but it also blends. And if you want to, you can like, you know, use your circular motions to blend it up as well. I blend that with my bronzer. But I actually like the way that looks. And if you feel like you want your spot, um, like your spotlight to be higher on your eye, you can just bring it up above your crease. Well, you really could if you wanted to darken it and add this for something to wear at nighttime. I feel like you really could. Cause I would add a little black on the corner. Like if I was going out at night, I I, I definitely would add some black on there. On the outside, on the outer V, you know. But love this technique because I feel like you can switch out the colors. So as I'm putting brown, if you wanted to do, let's say blue and orange or blue and yellow. Like I remember back in the day, I used to do like colorful looks and use like this same technique. So you don't have to just keep it to neutrals. Um, but this is just what I'm doing. I was like, I just want to do something different. And y'all know I'm obsessed with a smoky eye in general. So I'm just going to take my B, uh, not beetle bender. I'm just blending this up, which using like small circular motions. If you feel like you end up covering the center, you can always add like a little bit of filler in the middle to brighten it or another eyeshadow base or more eyeshadow base, whatever, you know, and that'll help. I mention this brush all the time, you guys. This is the M504. 
I really need to just give you guys a favorite Morphe brushes um, because I, I use a lot of their brushes. Like I have a lot of brushes, but I tend to gravitate to just the brushes that do me right on a daily day, on a day to day basis. So if I know that I typically create the same eye, I'm not going to be using like different brushes all the time. But I feel like you should have a brush for everything in a sense. Um, but some brushes, you can use them for multiple things. So you don't, it just depends on the product. It depends on the product. It depends on the product that you're using at that time as far as like whether you need like multiple brushes. For me, because I do like smoky eyes a lot of times, I'll use one brush for like whatever my all over color for the lid. The other brush I may use for the smoky eye just so that I'm not mixing. But to each his own. I'm using the M321 from Morphe as well. Now I use this more so for like popping in like tear duct colors, um, mainly um, maybe cleaning up like the lip color. Um, if I were to like smudge it out, you know, a little bit, not, I don't use this to, for too many other things. It's not as small as I would like it if I were using it like on my lower lash line. So I'm just gonna use it to pack on the color. I'm gonna start with this color and then I'm gonna go in with this one if it's not the color that I need. So, and then we're gonna, I'm just gonna pat that on the lid. It's actually pretty. It is giving me a satin, but it's giving me a very, very light satin. So, I think I'm gonna end up mixing it once I probably on the edges, but let me just pat this in just so I can see what we're working with. What I like to do is just take a little bit more of that brown eyeshadow and just kind of go over it by like patting into, you know, the highlight, like the center area. So kind of patting it just so that way we're blending out any harshness. I mean, we know we got a spotlight, but we just want to make sure we're blending out the edges. And I feel like that just blends even more, but it also looks like it's all one, even though we can see two different colors. a brown and see how I feel about it I still feel like ultimately I'm gonna end up adding a darker color on the lower lash line so it may not make that much of a difference anyway and yeah we're gonna go in with the black because I want more of that smoldering effect so I'm going in with the inf oh, with the infallible grip y'all been using this in probably the last maybe five tutorials so this is something that I And it's not to say I'm not a drugstore girl, but I do primarily like a lot of my products from like Sephora, but I do also like some products from the drugstore or Ulta. Some people will argue down talking about drugstore is not Ulta, but drugstore is Ulta to me because it has some of the same products that would be sold in Walmart. So it's the same. I said what I said. What you want me to do? You guys, I have been super obsessed with their mascaras. I was using a different mascara a while ago from them and I really liked that mascara also. So yeah, that company has been doing their thing. Now when I say this defines my lashes even more than the last one did, I don't know which Lancome mascara I like at this point because they all be doing what they're supposed to do. Yeah, I'm just gonna use that same chocolate brown. We're gonna smoke that lower lash out and then I'm gonna use what I use for my bronzer, which is typically always what I use for my smoky eye underneath. Unless I'm like wearing a colorful eyeshadow or like adding some black, but it's pretty much the same. I don't really switch it up only because in the daytime, I don't like wearing, I mean, I'm already wearing a smoky eye, but I don't want it to be so harsh on the lower lash line. So 
I'm just gonna add some powder underneath the eyes, y'all. It just looks so buttery and so smooth. I really love the way this looks. I'm then gonna go in with my face powder, which is from Makeup Forever. I love this full coverage powder because you really don't have to add too much foundation if you choose not to, and it gives you that really nice smooth coverage. Next for the lips, I'm gonna go in, of course, doing something natural. Y'all know my everyday look is usually a nude lip, whether it be light or dark. Uh, I'm gonna go in by using the MCD Luxury Co. Um, this is the liner. And then I'm gonna go in with the everyday lip, which is a latte. It's just a perfect everyday nude. It's not too bright. And it's something that I think is perfect for everyone in every shade. I'm then gonna top it off with a little bit of gloss and this is in Caramel Kisses. And I just feel like this just pairs well together. I'm also gonna go in with a creamy gloss that I have. Um, I personally wanted to lighten it up um, and I thought this was just perfect. I've been kinda testing out this combo, y'all let me know what you guys think. And I'm then gonna go in and just set my face. Y'all know I've been addicted to the setting spray. Um, I love the fact that it's super affordable for one and it just feels good on the skin. I've already applied blush, but I'm gonna go in and just set it with this Juvia's Place palette. And then I'm going to top it off. Y'all know I've been obsessed with like really stacking my blushes lately. Um, so I'm going in with that MAC. This is a mineralized blush. And I just love how soft of a finish it gives. It's just so pretty. Next, I'm just gonna add the finishing touches to the lower lash line. I'm taking that mascara and I'm popping it on and I just want you guys to take a second and just look at those lashes. Now, I don't have the longest bottom lashes, but I always love a mascara that really helps me like just heighten it and extend them. So y'all, I did want to share a quick scent of the day with you guys. If you're new to my channel, I love sweet scent. I'm going to go in with this Burberry. It smells so good and it's so light. I think it's perfect, especially for the spring. Oh, it smells good, y'all. I'm just going to go ahead and mix this Valentino with it. You guys, are you a person that sprays perfume on inside of the house, like after a shower, at nighttime? Or are you just one of those people who puts on your scent when you are about to go somewhere? Y'all let me know what you guys think about that scent. You have both of them in your collection. Definitely let me know what you guys think once you try this combo out. I do think this is a unit that is perfect for a beginner. You literally can take this wig out of the package and you can work with this wig. You don't have to do anything to the knots. You don't have to do anything as far as the lace is concerned because it's pre-cut. So if you guys enjoyed this, get ready with me. I will check you guys in my next video. Later.